Monica Seles was not just renowned for her trademark grunt. The world number one was the most dominant women's player in the early 1990s, having won consecutive titles at the Australian Open in 1991, 92 and 93. But in April 93, Seles was stabbed in the back by a fan during a match in Germany and was forced out of the game for more than two years. Remarkably, in January 1996, just months after her comeback, she made the final at the Australian Open. Her opponent was Germany's Anke Huber, who had never before reached the final of a Grand Slam tournament. With the crowd passionately behind her, Seles hit the ground running. But Huber, the world number nine, fought fire with fire. Baseline rallies captivating the crowd. Celeste returning serve with gusto. Huber losing her composure. The number one seed staring the set on Huber's serve in just under one hour. The second set was plain sailing for the Yugoslav-born US citizen. Game Celeste. Game Celeste. Down love three, Huber was rattled by her opponent. First time in three years that Celeste has had a championship point in a Grand Slam. Celeste winning her ninth Grand Slam singles title. As her cancer-stricken father looked on, Celis was humble. I left this tournament in 1993 with uh, unbelievable memories. And um, the hardest thing for me, the time that I couldn't play, was not being able to defend my title here. And it's just great to be back.